As you can see, um, we uh, met with department heads, outside agencies, and uh, and what was requested of um, the county was eighty-one point two million dollars. Um, what this budget is recommending to the the board is seventy-five point eight million. Uh, so a reduction of five point four, which is about six point seven percent. So if we had funded everything from outside agencies and all departments then we would have added an additional 12 and a third cent uh, tax uh, uh, per hundred dollars. So a penny of uh, tax increase is $437,600. When you compare the proposed budget from last year to this year, it's a difference of $2.5 million, almost $2.6 million. Uh, and this budget does include a recommendation of 12 cents tax increase. The current rate is 87 in the quarter, and that would make it 99.25 cents per hundred dollars, and that's a 12 cent again, which would equate to almost a 14 percent property tax rate increase. The board um, they adopt the budget in these six categories: general government is 6.2 million, public safety is 21.3 million, economic and physical development is a little less than 5 million. Human services is 17.8 million. Cultural and leisure is 1.4 million. Uh, education is 24.1 for a total of 75.8 million. Again, now this is total budget. Uh, after we receive grant monies, federal and state grant money, we charge service fees, <laughs> things of this nature, it translates to what is the county responsible for. And this sort of, the same categories. Um, that I showed you before, this is what is basically being paid out of that tax rate. Uh, as you can see, we've highlighted in red the, the major increases. General government, uh, a little over 800,000. Public safety, 1.3 million. And education, uh, 877,000. Before you go to the next slide, you'll see two categories there that are actually uh, less county money in the proposed 1516 budget that's an economic and fiscal development and human services and it doesn't necessarily translate to increase or decrease in expenditure sometimes it could be related to uh, other revenues like state and grant money uh, that is either greater or less uh, and also obviously can be uh, expenditures also and this pie chart here kind of goes, so for every dollar that is paid in, um, a little over 10 cents goes to general government, uh, education, 40 cents for every dollar you pay in goes, goes to education again. Culture and leisure, 2.3 cents. Human services, 11.4. Economic and physical development, a little less than 3 cents. And public safety, a little over 33 cents that you pay in goes for public safety. This is a kind of a summary of last year's budget to this year's budget as far as uh, the difference between <coughs> revenues are concerned. And again, this is county dollars. Uh, and um, if the, kind of to highlight two of the major things, the property taxes, as you see, uh, this does uh, take into account the 12 cent tax increase, the 6.6, .6, but it also there's a little bit normal growth uh, that is a little bit of good news in that uh, it was about 1.4 million, so the uh, the tax increase would be 5.2, and the normal growth would be about 1.4 million dollars increase. Uh, in the prior years, as you can see, a little less than 5 million dollars of the fund balance or savings was allocated to balance the budget. This year, uh, the proposed budget sort of protects. We try to protect the fund balance uh, because it has been used uh, in the past. And as I stated before. Um, that would leave us about 15 cent if we didn't appropriate any of, uh, of the fund balance, the unassigned fund balance. And I think the, the board has a kind of an informal uh, goal of the 15 percent. So basically it translates to two months of savings that uh, we're trying to reserve. And, and maybe a little bit of a comment on that. I mean, uh, fund balance savings is, you know, just for any business or individuals. Uh, you know, in case of emergencies uh, or things of that nature, or even cash flow. Obviously, we don't start receiving tax dollars until the latter part of August, so 
you know, it's, it's important to have a certain amount of fund balance there. Uh, what we're projecting, uh, what this is, is showing you the fund balance of, uh, of the 19.6. That's what uh, the fund balance was. That's total fund balance. Uh, what we're projecting that we're going to spend more than what we brought in in revenues for the current year is a little over $3 million. So if that holds uh, on and plus the state requirements that we're reserving um, by state statute and money that we've already obligated, that'll leave us the $11.4 million uh, for unassigned fund balance at the end of June 30th, uh, 2015, which uh, meets the, the goal of the 15% fund balance. A little less than two months again. I'll also add this is something that our bond raters pay close attention to uh, when, when uh, having a bond rating or a re rating. Uh, they're uh, very much aware that that's been the board's goal and they uh, follow the actions you know, the board to protect that, that goal. I was questioned about that um, in the re rating in September when, when we had uh, uh, an update to our rating. And this is kind of the history of the last seven years of uh, our fund balance. Uh, this column here is what we've used each year to, to start the, the budget year as far as balance in the budget. We've got unknown at this particular point in time. If no fund balance is appropriated, then we'll come back to the, to the $11 million here. Um, but as you can see, the last few years, our fund balance, our savings have been going down. And again, this budget is, is somewhat trying to protect that. And this gives you uh, the last 10 years as far as fund balance is concerned, the unassigned fund balance. So again, we're coming back to that $11.4 million. Um, I, I think uh, last year we were about 12.9%, I'm not mistaken, at the end of the year because we had appropriated the fund balance uh, going into this fiscal year. All right, you saw the categories before. Uh, this is more getting down to a little bit of the, um, well, to the department level, I should say, here. So uh, we've highlighted um, some of the major increases here. Um, <coughs> elections, uh, as the manager had uh, spoke about earlier, um, almost $200,000 increase. There's more elections next year is the reason for that getting into um, the sheriff uh, appropriating, or I should say, um, allocating uh, $337,000 more for the sheriff's department communications, uh, right at uh, $204,000, and jail operations, uh, $381,000. Business incentives was another large item this year, $257,500. Home health, uh, 116,000, and capital improvements, 350,000. Again, uh, several large items increases for this year. Uh, and debt, uh, our debt payments a little bit more this year, uh, 300,000. And that's not our total. Again, we get some other uh, funds that we pay some of our other debt service to, but this is what again what is the county is uh, responsible for. Education, um, this budget uh, is proposing an additional half a million dollars for education. So again, uh, right at $2.4 million increase from last year to this year. All right, um, items that's funded in this year um, in, in the budget that uh, is being proposed. Uh, humans, uh, and again, this includes all the benefits and associated with those salaries. Human resources, uh, four detention officers, 200,000, park maintenance position, 41,000, uh, four communicators, and uh, 911, uh, 194,000. So, grand total, uh, $477,000 in new positions, 10 positions altogether that's included in this budget that was not included in last year's budget. This budget also increases um, capital outlay improvements for $100,000. We had $100,000 budgeted last year. This increases that. Um, we've got the new Owen Park 
and there are some uh, matching funds potentially out there for that, so it was included in this, this budget also. Um, positions requested not funded. Uh, the sheriff had asked for two new narcotic agents, a uh, CCVI investigator, two court security officers, an IT position, and an animal control officer. Inspections uh, wanted the uh, admin support specialist, uh, health department uh, wanted the computer systems administrator, uh, environmental health specialist, cooperative extension wanted part-time market coordinator. Again, these were items not funded that were requested. So the grand total for all the positions and benefits that was not funded in this budget is 592000 Other items not funded, um, the safe space, um, we have been including 30000 for that. Uh, they had asked for another 20000 but it was not put in this budget. Uh, sheriff's Department of Attorney, Sheriff Vehicles, Sheriff's Other Equipment, Communications Overtime, Jail Part-Time Salaries, EMS Overtime Change, EMS protected clothing, EMS quick response vehicle, EMS emergency vehicle. Other uh, items um, not funded, um, there were some changes in, in level as far as the volunteer squads. Uh, white level from 21-6 to 12, Franklin Rescue 21-6 to 12, uh, Lewisburg Rescue, uh, they were actually cut from the budget, and Bun Rescue uh, was from 10 to 0 also. This uh, does increase the Epson from 0 to 6,000. Health Department building maintenance, uh, about 71.5, three vehicles for 95,000, equipment rental, uh, I'll let y'all read those amounts, and medical supplies. Animal control, there was a part-time salary, and two vehicles. I would like to state that uh, this budget did not include any type of uh, cost of, of, of living uh, adjustment at all. So all the salaries for all of the staff did remain the same. Uh, Board of uh, Education, uh, they had asked for a current expense of $1.9 million, uh, additional capital outlay of uh, $384,000, uh, school bond uh, debt service of $1.1 million, for a total of 3.4 million uh, in round numbers. And if all of that had been added on, that would have been uh, seven and three quarters cent additional tax increase. Again, if all of it was funded. I've got a slide about the, uh, the debt service. There's still about 12 million out there uh, on bonds that could be issued for the school. And again, that would equate to about $1.1 million in annual debt service. Again, that was not included in this, in this budget. Uh, kind of a point in reference, uh, the county has a lot of debt, as you can see. And this, uh, I just used what we had uh, that was audited last year uh, for bonds installment debt. Uh, we've got about $80 million in debt uh, out there for uh, governmental activities, which is our general fund. Uh, and the school debt portion of that is right at um, $70 million, again, about 87%. So again, summarizing again for the education, um, out of the uh, 3.4 million that was requested by education, this budget provides another half a million dollars. So again, this goes over. So for one cent tax increase, it generates a little over $437,000. And uh, the 12 cent would generate $5.2 million. And maybe it's, it's probably important to point out again we had about 2.4 million in additional uh, expenditures in this proposed budget, but again, in prior years, fund balance was used. This budget doesn't have that in there, so that was the need for the 5.2. And of course, this is obviously is very important to most everybody in there. What is it going to cost me? So one cent tax increase on $200,000 property uh, would equate to $20 additional per year. 12 cent on $200,000 worth of property is going to be $240 per year. Our water and sewer budget, as you can see, um, 
is nine million dollars, um, and um, we have we. When the Water and Silver Fund was first established, the General Fund loaned it a, a, a little bit of money, quite a bit of money. In fact, after this payment is made, uh, there still about, will be about $3.6 million uh, that the Water and Sewer Fund would still owe back the General Fund. And the county um, has recommended <coughs> no water increase rates on anything, so they will remain the same. And also, I didn't mention earlier, but there was no other fees raised in this budget. It was only the tax fees, no additional fees for um, trash or anything like that. So all other fees were remained the same also. The water and sewer, uh, again, that 500000 I spoke about earlier. Uh, it also includes uh, $332,000 for the debt for the acquisition of the Franklin <coughs> and, um, Wood and sewer system, about two hundred ten thousand for construction repairs that are needed, ninety five thousand for equipment and vehicles, and three new positions for uh, and related to the acquisition. Again, the water and sewer part of our budget. Mitchell, I'd just like to add to that. Yeah. All of that comes uh, from the um, water and sewer budget, not the general fund uh, budget that your tax dollars pay for. So the ward and sewer fund is going to take care of that, not That's the general fund that your, your tax dollars That's take right. In fact, the ward and sewer fund is slowly paying back the general fund that helped to get the ward and sewer fund started many years ago. So we've been actually paying some of that back to the general fund for a number of years now. Uh, we did have one of the fire departments ask for a one cent increase uh, pilot. Uh, and this is kind of a, a summary of all of the um, <coughs> fire districts. Uh, it's not that we weren't recommending them. We kind of got that information on the pilot a little late, so I just updated that to, to put 219000 um, there. So uh, again, pilot was the only one that was asking for the additional penny. Okay, um, just to kind of go over, state statutes require that uh, county commissioners adopt a budget by June 30th, and um, I'm hoping that we won't get into this uh, last paragraph, but um, as you can see, that if, if we couldn't come to the solution, that we'd have to operate on an interim budget. That includes the um, PowerPoint presentation. 